What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mosa La Torre and I am so excited for today's video. I say that a lot of the times, but truly, truly beyond excited today because I have partnered with Elf Cosmetics on this incredible launch for this new product that I think you guys are going to absolutely love. The main reason being the price point. This brand new 16 hour wear camo concealer from Elf Cosmetics retails for a whopping $5. Can you guys believe it? I was shocked when they told me. The Elf Cosmetics team was shocked. They were like, I cannot believe we were able to pull off such a great um, high quality product at such a low price point. I'm just in shock and I couldn't wait to share it with you guys because I knew you would be as stoked as I am for a $5 concealer that is very, very comparable to a lot of high-end concealers out there right now because um, the trend right now is more of that matte finish. And I think that this concealer is a dupe for a lot of those matte concealers out there right now at like triple, quadruple the price point. Um, so it's a 16 hour wear concealer, full coverage, matte. Um, it's got a large doe foot applicator. It comes in 18 shades. Um, and at the price point, you can really purchase a couple of shades, mix and match. Um, I know I like to mix the colors light beige and deep olive. Ugh, the fact that they came out with a deep olive shade, I'm like, you guys just won me over. Um, it's a great mixing shade. Obviously, it's too dark for me, but I can mix it with light beige to spot conceal um, different areas of my face. Um, it's so versatile and I'm going to be going over all the different ways you can use it in today's tutorial. Originally, I was just going to do, um, like incorporate it into a makeup tutorial, but it's such an exciting launch. I just really wanted to showcase the concealer. Um, Elf is sponsoring today's video. Um, like I said, I'm really thankful that they trusted me with this launch because, um, they gave me so much time to play with it and I really appreciate that because, uh, the longer I have to play with a product, the more confident I am in promoting it to you guys because I know it works. Um, so I want to start off by just sharing some swatches because um, the e.l.f. team did mention that the concealer oxidizes just a bit and I love that they were honest about that, very transparent because um, some other companies try to like brush that under the rug and not mention that it oxidizes. So it does oxidize a smidge because it's so pigmented um, and they're providing swatches on their website of the concealer wet and also dry so you can see how much it does oxidize to ensure you get the best match. So I'm gonna do the same on my arm so you can um, kind of reference it on my skin tone. So let's go ahead and throw up the swatches. These are all 18 shades wet. I'm gonna pop in the names right under each swatch as well. And then here they are dry. So you can see they got a little bit darker, but not too dramatic of a difference. Um, light beige works on me wet and dry as an under eye highlight. And with the darker shades, I feel like I don't notice as much of a difference with the oxidization. It's more so with the lighter shades. Uh, so hopefully um, those swatches help you guys in choosing your concealer. But like I said, um, I would pick up like three because that's 15 bucks for three concealers. You cannot beat that. So um, without further ado, let's get into today's video using the new camo concealer from Elf Cosmetics. First and foremost, skin prep is so incredibly important and it's especially important when using matte products because you don't want your skin to dry out later in the day. Um, if you have a drier skin type, if you're oily, you're probably like, yes, the more matte, the better. Um, I am pretty normal balanced um, my skin it doesn't go too oily or too dry however i still like to add a ton of moisturizer so for my eye cream i used the nars skin total replenishing eye cream this stuff to me is like a bomb it just works incredibly well underneath um, concealer and makeup and then same thing um, for moisturizer, I used the NARS Skin Luminous Moisture Cream, which again, I just love the way it works with makeup. So to start, in order to not go in with a lot of concealer right off the bat, I like to start by applying my foundation. And I thought I would stick to a more natural finish foundation for today. I'm gonna be using the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. I'm mixing the shades Almond and Golden Beige. All right, that foundation gave me a pretty even skin tone, but I still have this blemish peeking through. It wants to survive, but we're not going to allow it to. So the first trick I want to show you with camo concealer is spot concealing. And what I love about the price point $5 is that you can afford to buy a few different shades, maybe just two shades in order to custom mix to find your perfect color match 
for certain areas of the face. So you can go darker or lighter depending on what you're trying to cover up. This is why I like spot concealing prior to highlighting the center of the face um, so I can conceal it and also blend it out seamlessly with the rest of my uh, foundation or skin. So my favorite shade um, or two favorite mixing shades from Camo Concealer are uh, Deep Olive. It's obviously very, very dark, but don't get it twisted. It's a mixing shade for me. Um, I can also contour with this too, but I'm going to use Deep Olive as well as Light Beige, which is my highlighting shade. And I'm going to mix these two together to get the perfect match to cover up this bad boy right here. So um, on the back of my hand, I'm going to take the large Dofa applicator. Look at that. So I'm using Deep Olive. And then I'm gonna take a little dollop of light beige, put it right next to deep olive. And with a concealer brush, ooh, almost knocked over my matcha there. <laughs> I'm taking a concealer brush and I'm gonna start by mixing the two. And I kinda like to blend them both together and see what I get. And as I get the color that I want, I kinda blend it more over here so that way I'm not adding more of the darker color. And see how I'm getting that perfect olive undertone right there. Oh, that is such a gorgeous color. It's going to match perfectly. And you can add more of the lighter shade, the darker shade, um, whatever you need to get the perfect match. I'm going to take that concealer brush and just apply it directly to this blemish and see what it looks like. It does, like I said, oxidize just a bit. So what I'm going to do is apply it. I'm going to take my beauty blender and lightly, very, very lightly tap it out. See how it blends into the rest of the skin. And because it's matte, it's also going to stay on that blemish, which is great, and it's not going to further emphasize it. If you use a dewy concealer or dewy foundation, it tends to emphasize texture, and this is more of like a scab now since I've picked at it and it's on its way out. Um, but it is textured, so matte works best because it doesn't accentuate that texture. Wow, this match. Oh, love it. Lightly tapping it in. And that looks really good. Um, sometimes I get a little bit of redness right here around the nose as well. I'm just going to show you guys, even though it's not really showing through right now, I just want to show you how I would do it. I do love mixing the colors on the back of my hand versus doing swipes um, of the concealer on the face and then hoping that the mix blends in with your skin. I like doing um, the, the mixture on the back of my hand so that way I can kind of eyeball the color that I'm going to get and see if it'll match my skin tone and the area that I'm trying to cover up. See that? Like that's obviously going to be a little too dark. So then we can just add a little more light beige to the mixture. So normally I get a little bit of redness right here. So I'll just add a little more here and right here. Wow, this match is so good. Highly, highly, if you're olive, highly recommend picking up deep olive and light beige together. They give you the perfect combo. I'm just blending this out. And then we're going to move on to the next trick because I think this looks really, really good. Next, I want to show you guys how to highlight and contour with the concealers. Um, if you watch my videos, you know I'm not a big cream contour kind of person, but you can do it with the concealer. It looks really good. I did it on set with e.l.f. and I was actually pretty impressed with the way it turned out. I thought it looked so good. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that and how to highlight. Now, when I do um, do a cream contour... <laughs> Let me turn my phone off real quick. Um, when I do do a cream doo-doo, when I do cream, contour, and highlight, I like to do one step at a time versus doing it all at once because I find that when I do it all at once, it sort of just kind of blends all together and then I don't see that distinction between the highlight and contour. So I'm going to start by highlighting first and then I'm going to contour. Um, so light beige is a great highlight color for me. It's got a really nice undertone and again, that large Dofa applicator makes it easy to apply. So I'm going to just apply it underneath the eye. And because it is matte, I like to blend it out first before moving on to any other area just to make sure I'm able to blend it out perfectly. So while it's underneath the eye and fresh, I'm just going to take that beauty blender and blend it out. I'm also going to take whatever concealer is left over on the beauty blender and blend it onto the eyelid because this also works amazing as an eyeshadow primer because of the matte finish. Um, so even if you don't want to use it as concealer, save your money and use it or purchase one of these to use as an eyeshadow primer because it is incredible as an eyeshadow primer. Um, I wore my makeup that I did on set that one day with e.l.f. all day and I used um, the concealer as my primer and my makeup stayed put. My eyeshadow did not move, it didn't crease. And because of the full coverage, I don't need to correct underneath the eyes first. What I like to do is if I want a little more brightening, especially in that little like divot that we have underneath our eyes, I just add a pinch more right here like this. 
just like that. And then again, I just tap it out with the beauty blender. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then also highlight down the center of the face. And always remember the general rule or general guideline as I like to call it um, for highlighting and contouring is one to two shades lighter and one to two shades darker. So um, this is definitely like one to two shades lighter. As you can see, it's giving that nice little like starburst effect. And for the one to two shades darker, I'm gonna use, I think this is the one I used on set, Deep Chestnut, I believe is the color, Deep Chestnut. So many options to choose from. I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna use um, Deep Chestnut. And to contour, I'm just gonna take the um, applicator and uh, feel, you can kind of feel for your cheekbone, or you can do this. And I like to swipe up like this, just like a couple swipes. Again, working in small sections, I'm gonna blend it out. This color looks so good, wow. And I'm even able to blend it all the way up towards the hairline for some contouring up here. A little goes a really long way with this because it is full coverage, so just take your time blending it out, working in small sections. And when blending out a contour, always blend up. Don't drag it down because it'll drag your face down, so don't go any lower than where you initially applied the darker concealer. So I'm just tapping in that area and then going up. And when it comes to the nose, this is um, one area of contouring that is really personal. I mean, contouring in general is really personal depending on what you're trying to achieve. Um, I just like to add dimension with contouring and with bronzers. And for the nose, my nose is really, already really small. Um, so just to make sure it doesn't kind of blend out with the rest of the area that I highlighted, I just add a little bit of the darker concealer right here to the very tip and blend it up along the side. And then the last areas that I want to contour are the jawline, so just down here. I keep them more underneath to narrow out the face. So not really along the side, like kind of underneath right here and underneath the lip. It'll give your lower lip a much plumper appearance. And then I'm going to blend it out. Now I'm just gonna set everything with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I love the way this turned out. I feel like it looks really natural um, for someone who doesn't cream contour a lot. It kind of shows how easy it is to use this product because the concealer or the, the contour tends to kind of stay in the place where you add it. It doesn't blend all over the place. You don't have to use as much powder because of the matte finish, which is great, especially for the under eyes. Mine always crease somewhat they always crease a tiny bit even with um, matte concealers I just have under eyes that for whatever reason crease um, but I do get to use less powder with this concealer so I'm gonna set everything in place and then we're gonna move on to the eyes so you can see how you can use the concealer as an eyeshadow primer I just wanted to show you guys what my skin looks like once I added bronzer and highlight my highlight is Becca's shimmering skin perfector in champagne champagne pop and the bronzer I added is the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light Ambient Lighting Bronzer. Um, filled in my brows, do your brow styler. Now, let's get to the eyes. So I'm just gonna do a really quick bronzy eye just to show you guys how you can use the concealer as an eyeshadow primer and how it works great because it is that matte finish. Um, I'm gonna be using this NARS Skin Deep Eyeshadow Palette just to create a really simple bronzy eye. So I'm gonna start with um, some of these matte shadows, throwing them, in, throwing them into the crease, and then I'm gonna pop Apply this on the lid, keep it super basic, and uh, enjoy me blending my eyeshadow, guys. I'm just gonna do it real quick. I'm first gonna go in with this color over here and a Smith 232 brush. And then to make things a little warmer, I'm gonna mix these two shades together and also, actually, I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. I'm grabbing a Smith 230, and I'm gonna apply this to the outer corner and lower lash line. And then the last color I'm taking is this guy right here. I'm gonna put it on to the eyelid where there's no eyeshadow. If you wanted to, you could have just not set the lid and left it a little tacky to um, further um, allow the shimmery eyeshadow to grasp on, but I decided to set the whole thing. Um, and it all blended out so flawlessly. I mean, this looks like I have one of those like Instagram filters on my face. It looks so smooth. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna finish this eye and then uh, complete this look. And actually one more thing, I also wanna use this color right here as an inner corner highlight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that in the inner corner and then um, we will wrap up this tutorial. This eye came out a lot smokier than what I was anticipating, but I dig it. I feel like I have a full glam going on right now and I don't even have to get ready for tonight. <laughs> I'm just gonna wear this makeup out.
I used Caution Mascara by Hourglass. I also lined my waterline with one of these Dosa Colors eyeliners. Which one did I use though? That is the question. It is called, I think it was Sketch. One of these guys. I'm pretty sure it was this one. Um, the look ended up being a little more cool toned than I wanted it to be, so I'm gonna go in with a cool toned blush. I'm using Dallas by Benefit. It's like my go-to cool toned blush. And then for a lip, I'm gonna use this Dose of Colors lip liner in the shade Nitty Gritty. And the lipstick is the ColourPop Blur, Velvet Blur in shade Y2K. Just so I don't leave you guys hanging. Thought I'd cover everything else as well. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is a wrap on today's video. I really do hope you are as excited for this launch as I am. Um, you can pick it up at Target, Ulta, Walmart, and elfcosmetics.com. Um, check it out. Let me know your thoughts. If you guys have any questions or concerns, want more tips and tricks, let me know, comment down below. Um, I'll definitely be using this concealer in the next couple tutorials so that you guys can familiarize yourself with the product, create different looks, and know that you can look flawless at five bucks. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, thank you to Elf Cosmetics for partnering with me on this amazing launch. Check out the um, video that I did for them on their website. Hopefully it's up already. The concealer should be out as of today. And um, as always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah. You get a concealer and you get a concealer and you get a concealer. I'm done. Okay. Bye. <laughs>